Many horror films have shown us what happens when you go into the woods with your friends. It's a surefire way to get everyone you know killed. Our exhibit E is Equinox. Little known outside the horror film community, Equinox stars that herb guy from WKRP, a hot blonde, a whiny blonde, stop motion monsters, and a demon with love drool. The film starts with our hero Dave on what is truly the worst day of his life. After nearly being blown up by something, he tries to get help, only to get hit by a driverless car. Hmm, must be in California. After an almost repeat performance with actual drivers, poor Dave is dumped into an insane asylum. Flash forward a year later. An obnoxious reporter comes to visit Dave to see if there's any movement on the case involving our poor electroshocked hero. In typical fashion, the liberal media bugs Dave to the point where he winds up sitting on him. Undeterred, our reporter listens to the strange story of Dave and his friends, how they went to visit Dave's professor friend in the woods, how they discovered an evil book that brings forth demons, how his friends were possessed by said demons. Wait a minute, this seems awfully familiar. Since our groovy co-eds left Scooby behind, they attempt to find the professor's cabin, using Dave's innate ability to find trouble. They find the professor's house, devastated. They find a mysterious castle that magically appears and disappears, ensuring we never get to see the inside. They find an evil book with notes about all the accidental evil the professor has unleashed. You know, this sounds very familiar. All this time they are being watched by a sinister park ranger named Asmodeus, who seems fused to his horse. That is, until he decides to get his drool on with a hot Susan. Using his winged frog pimp ring to distract her, Asmodeus uses his patented leering to get her on the ground and on to second base. He also gives her a little Satan love drool to really get her in the mood. While interrupted from his slobber fest by her Jesus bling, Susan spends the rest of the movie dealing with some serious and very naughty urges, all the while seductively moving her jaw in a manner meant to show how evil she really is. In spite of a creepy laughing man, monsters, and Asmodeus' love drool, the men remain determined to visit the castle, find the truth, and then get the hell out of the woods. Oh, they get a sort of killed Dave's professor along the way, while dealing with a very horny and, dare I say, devilish Asmodeus. I just remembered. Asmodeus is another name for the devil. The devil? By no stretch of the imagination is Equinox a brilliant film, even by 1970 standards. It's a solid double, right up the middle. It's not scary, but it is suspenseful. Stop motion is awful, but the forced perspective special effects are decent, if not exactly groundbreaking. The acting is wooden, but Jack Woods' drooling demon is an absolutely campy stitch. Even the ending, with the possibility of a sequel, is a perfect end to this jigsaw puzzle of a movie. A longtime staple of late night creature features on independent TV stations, Equinox has been released on Criterion DVD, which you can buy on Amazon. How this movie earned a Criterion release is a bit beyond me. It isn't culturally significant other than the influence it may have had on the Evil Dead films. However, I am glad that they did because I love this movie. It's a true, so bad it's good film, although many don't see it that way. Everyone should do themselves a favor and get a copy. If you're a little gun-shy based upon this review, you can find it on BitTorrent and learn the truth about Dave's Little Picnic. If movies like Equinox, Prophecy, and Blair Witch have taught us anything, is that you don't go to the forest with your friends for anything. You will wind up lost, stalked, and have a camera shoved in your face. For Nostalgia and Headless Critic Films, I'm Matt Anderson.